So, Nicole, you've described what you say is a military culture uh, where harassment is tolerated. It's even expected. Why do you think then that this bill mm -hmm. failed? It needed 60 votes in the Senate and it was quite shy of it. There were only 55 votes for it. Right. It's I'm really surprised that it didn't go through, uh, considering all of the conflicts going on, the, the sex scandals. Um, and it's not just recent, like these sex scandals have been going on for decades and they're horrific and no significant change has been done yet. Um, you know, it's been 23 years since tail hook and the tail hook scandal and things just keep coming out again and again and it's really embarrassing for the military. And um, I, I want to talk about your personal experience. I, I know you've talked about it a bit, but I also know it must be difficult. Um, you said that you yeah. were working a night shift and that your sergeant, uh -huh. um, you, you said you sort of constantly felt almost that, that rape was a possibility and that then one night it did uh, come, really your fear came true and your sergeant um, forced sex on you. And what, what's particularly alarming to me about your story is that when you brought it to friends, what did they say? Um, I had friends that were upset by it. Um, and then I did also bring it to uh, the attention of my chain of command, um, not in a formal way. It was suggested that I not um, file a complaint and uh, file a report. And I didn't. I didn't, I didn't think anything would be done. Um, I also think that if I had someone outside of my chain of command to report it to, um, that I would have reported it. And um, if I'd known, I would have had an advocate and I would have been kept safe and there wouldn't have been any kind of retaliation. Um, but that system is still not in place and that's what the bill originally addressed, um, taking the control out of the commander. That's actually would be this, the soldier or the service member supervisor um, who right now um, pretty much controls what happens. Um, to the victim and to the, the perpetrator. Is that what you think needs to happen, Nicole, exactly what this bill was attempting to do? It, yeah, most certainly. I know um, it would have made a difference for me. And um, yeah, it wasn't a safe place for me to report anything. Um, and I carry around guilt about that too. Um, I think about, you know, What's he doing now? Um, who else has he um, impacted? Um, and yeah, it's just, it doesn't, it's a system that hasn't changed for like 250 years and it doesn't make sense to not change things that aren't working.